Hello friends, welcome. In today's video, we are going to see how we create a roadmap slide. So here we can see we have a road and we are representing in form of quarters, quarter 1, 2, 3 and 4. You can also put months 1, 2, 3 and 4 or we can also put year and then we are showing here the milestones 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for this uh, video, I have put 4 milestone here. You can add or squeeze, you can have 3 also, you can have 5 also. Uh, the spacing can be squeezed here. Now I have another version of this uh, to put a roadmap slide. So we can use either of these version. Now this is one way of looking at this slide, but this slide can also be repurposed for different uh, ways. For example, if you want to use this slide to show the value add team has delivered, so you can just say value at one, two, three, and four. Add a description here, and this shows that uh, your maturity path. You can also leverage this slide uh, to showcase uh, the contribution made or the accomplishment made so various ways uh, this slide can be used and this slide leaves a remarkable message to your audience so there are various ways this can be used and uh, repurposed i have uploaded these uh, slides on the uh, share path and the link is given in the description section you can download it uh, these are completely editable and you can use them now let's see how we quickly uh, build them in less than 5 or 10 minutes. So let me go to a blank slide. So first thing I'm going to draw a road here. So for that I'm taking a rectangle shape. I'm saying shape outline, no outline. And uh, I'm putting a gradient fill here. So app using a three different black colors here so the gradient uh, comes here and then I'm going to draw a line here and uh, keep shape outline as white and increase the weight to let's say this and then I'm using dashes here so this way we can see now it's coming in the shape of road now let's draw a circle here put it here and let's say shape outline no outline so I want to use this color first and I'm going to use a uh, effect here so let me go to preset and use this effect here now I'll do another circle here and uh, shape outline is same color and shape fill is no fill I'm going to increase the weight uh, to this one and then do a control D and uh, increase the size to this so that it can be an outer circle. I'm going to put them like this. Now I'm going to use this image here. So let's put this image here and then I draw a line. So we can see how quickly we can build this. Let me increase the length, shape outline this and increase the weight to this one. Now I'm going to use, uh, this is uh, one sample, I'm going to just copy paste and as I said we can have 4 milestone, 5 milestone, 6 milestone or 3 milestone based on our need. I'm just going to copy this, so control D. Put it here uh, for this video I'm going to use only four milestones just do control D and control D you can have five six or three or two based on your need now let me just change the color so for this one I'm going to use a shape outline as let's say this color and I'm also going to change this one shape fill as this change this one as well and then change the fill color also similarly I'll change for these two as well I have changed uh, the color for all four of them and now I'm going to change this image so let's say I want to use this image here so just put it here for this one uh, I'm going to use this one and uh, for this one I'm going to use this one so I have kept this uh, images here you can also download these images from Google or you can use the uh, insert and the icons available here. 
So this is where I have uh, insert all the icons. You can download, even uh, you can use these icons from here, or you can also download from the Google. Use the freely available icons. Do not use the licensed one. So I have uh, picked up from here only. So now I have to add a messaging. So let me go back here and just copy this messaging from here. So I have copied the messaging here. Now let me move it little up. Okay. So let me just uh, change the color for font. We can go to eyedropper and we can change the color to this one. We can change the color to this one. Now I'll just copy paste this one. Uh, Control D and I'll just place it here. And then here and then here so now let me change this uh, again font uh, to using eyedropper to this color similarly I'll change it for others as well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the icon here uh, the running uh, person icon so I can use it from here insert icon let's see if i can quickly get it from here see we can use from here so just insert this one and uh, that's it so i'm going to use a color white uh, uh, light white first let's say i have an icon here and then i will increase uh, so first let me put this one then this one and then this one and then the last one is the completely white one now last thing i'll do is i'll put a flag here so to put a flag go here and choose this icon say shape outline no outline insert a line here and uh, say begin arrow type is this and and arrow type is this this is in format shape increase the weight to this one and we can just club it here and uh, then just control G and we can reduce the size also and when I'm putting it here I can say save fill white and for this save outline white so now you can see our flag is also ready all right now I can also increase the size for this one and I can say a format background I can choose some light color here okay so let me do a slide so now so you can see uh, we have a roadmap slide ready uh, we have different milestones and as I said we can put here uh, year month or quarter so let's say let me put it quarter here so let's say Q1 23 and uh, choose the size as uh, Kendra. And we can take a font as white. Now just do Control D. And then just change it to Q2. You can do it month wise, you can do it year wise as well. It's up to you how long to build it. So now my slide is ready let me do a slide so you can see uh, there's a road here where we are put a path forward that how our roadmap will be and what are the different milestones we achieve just to read it as i said initially we can use it for roadmap also we can use it for value adds we can use it for uh, accomplishment of various purpose this slide can be reused uh, i have given uh, the editable version in the share path the link is given in the description section you can download it it's a complete ideal version and you can use it for your need i hope you like this video uh, thank you very much for watching this